Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a birthday card for my husband and I will probably upload this after his birthday just because I'll probably be too busy to um, get this done beforehand. So I'm using a little gamepad controller stamp from the Paper Mania Mr. Mr. Icon stamp set and I'm stamping it using my Tim Holtz stamp platform using Versafine Onyx Black ink. I love this ink because it's nice and dark and I'm going to be colouring it in with my coloured pencils. Um, so I don't need to use an alcohol friendly ink, although if you wanted to use alcohol markers to colour this in, just use Memento or a different ink. But because I'm stamping directly onto the card base, I decided that I don't really want to um, see the colouring on the inside, so I'm just going to use pencils. And originally I only plan on colouring in the buttons, um, <laughs> and I'm actually thinking that I will colour this in to look like his Xbox controller, but I go to to the lounge to get his Xbox controller as a reference because <laughs> I'm sad like that. <laughs> and I realised that it actually doesn't really look anything like the Xbox controller. So instead of doing that, I look up reference pictures. And that's what I'm just doing there on my laptop. So I start to colour this in like an Xbox controller and I'm still thinking no I don't really like this. <laughs> so then I change my mind and colour it in to match the old Super Nintendo um, game pads. <laughs> I can't remember the word for it then. And so I had to rub out that green that I'd put in and I changed it to a yellow and now I'm just colouring in the buttons and I'm using a green, a red, a yellow and a blue and I mix a couple of greens to get the right shade and I think I'll do the same with the blue. Yeah. So this is a bit repetitive, so I'm just trying to do all the same colour at the same time. And there's my second shade of blue. I thought my husband would really appreciate the nerdy little details. <laughs> now this card was just like one bad mistake after another. <laughs> so the first was I messed up the stamping on the front. I actually got two massive ink splodges on it. The first one I managed to get off with my Tombow sand eraser. The second one just was not coming off until I managed to scrape it off and then it left a massive hole in the card. <laughs> so this is why you saw me stamping it again <laughs> with my platform. Um, and then I started colouring it like a Xbox controller and then I realised that it was completely the wrong shape to be an Xbox controller so I had to research the um, Super Nintendo ones and then this is the next mistake that I'm making. I'm colouring the gamepad so that the buttons are joined together and I joined together the wrong buttons. <laughs> So you will see me realise that in a little bit and rub it out and do it again. And I really wish I hadn't burnished it down <laughs> because it would have been a lot easier to fix it if I hadn't. <laughs> but I live and learn. Check my references more closely before I start. So this is a bit repetitive I'm afraid. Um, there's lots of little controllers, lots of little details. I picked a um, light cool grey for the background in the end and a warm grey for the 
little circular pads and a dark grey for the buttons and that's just to match the standard um, gamepad I suppose and this is where I realise I've done it all wrong <laughs> and I go back and change it I sped this up eight times but looking at it now I feel like I should have sped it up 20 times because I'm just colouring, colouring, colouring I always find that colouring with them um, pencils takes a bit longer but I quite like them because I can erase them if I mess up, which I did a lot. <laughs> so good job I chose pencils. Otherwise I would have had to have stamped this for the third time. <laughs> but I like to leave in my bloopers because, and my mistakes, because like everybody makes them and it's, I think it can be really disheartening when we see all these like perfect YouTubers that never make any mistakes and their cards always look pristine and they all look like they come together and really easily like completely naturally and 90% of the time that's not the case <laughs> and I'd even planned this card out and I thought I knew exactly what I was going to do until I sat down to do it and then I realised actually I didn't really have a clue at all so that's my little story and <laughs> I'm using the card sketch that I showed you in my previous video where I was talking about how to organise and plan my craft projects. So if you are interested on in how I do that, check out my previous video. And I think I actually pause the camera in a bit and I go away and finish the colouring. I can't remember. It was a couple of days ago that I did this and I was crafting quite late that day. I went on a, a, a late night shopping spree to buy my husband some party supplies, some balloons and a banner and um, I wanted to buy him a coat for his birthday. I know that sounds really lame but I bought him tickets to go see a wrestling show so that was his main present but I just wanted to have something that he could open. And he, he really needed a coat and I knew he wouldn't buy it for himself because he's a bloke. <laughs> so, yeah, I was very busy that night wrapping them up in seven layers of wrapping paper <laughs> just because I could. So um, I moved on here. I've just got a bit of black cardstock and I've stamped happy birthday from a little sentimental, I think it was. Let me just check. Yeah, a little sentimental from Clearly Besotted. I love that stamp set. It's one of my favourites for just sentiments that are just completely, they're just so clean and they're small and they're not, I don't know, they're just lovely. The, the spacing between the words is just perfect. I don't know, maybe that's just my particularness coming out. Um, you see me faff in there because somebody told me that with wow embossing powder it's got anti-static in it. So I didn't use my static tool my anti-static tool and I really regretted it because it did go where I didn't want it so I just used my craft knife to pick it off and then I coloured um, over it with a black pencil to hide any scuff marks because there was no way I was stamping that again <laughs> not after all the mistakes that I'd made already so I just mount some black foam tape squares onto the back of that and I use my t-square ruler to line it up and that is the outside of the card done now, I decide to stamp on the inside, and this is a bit scary, <laughs> to be honest, after all that work, I was like, please don't mess it up, but um, I used my stamp platform, and I picked the Enjoy Your Day sentiment from the Clearly Posotted Say It In Style, and you'll probably see Clearly Posotted stamps on my channel quite a lot, because I love them, especially for sentiments and flowers, oh my god, their flowers are amazing. Um, I've got another video coming up with one of their f flower sets, so if you like flowers, definitely um, subscribe. Anyway, so I decided to stamp this controller on the inside and on the envelope. So I stamp it on the flap at the back and on the front where I'm going to write my husband's name. 
and that finishes up my card. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye!